and welcome. This is video seven in a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full playlist. I recommend watching the previous videos. We are creating Doom levels in Eureka Doom Editor. Uh, and we've created this basic little level so far. I'm gonna go ahead and real quick, I am going to get rid of these bad guys because I have to kill them every time I demo the level. Okay. So far, we've created this room with some switches uh, and little inlets and shelves, and we have a hallway with a door at the end. Uh, but let's say we want to have other walls within this sector. You can have sectors within sectors. Again, I like to think of sectors as rooms. So let's go ahead, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit six on my number row up at the top here to change my grid size. And I'm going to go V into vertex mode. And let's just add a little sector inside this sector. Perfect. Now, if we go, let's uh, put my mouse cursor here. I'm going to hit uh, the apostrophe key to move my 3D view here and then tab to go into 3D view. Uh, view. You notice, you don't notice that, that sector. It's there, but everything's aligned with the sector that it's part of. Let me go ahead and hit tab to get out of this mode and hit S to choose that. And then we'll go back into 3D mode and I will move the floor up and the ceiling down. And you can see we just create a nice little shelf. Uh, we can tab to get out of that, L to go into line mode. And then we can choose a different texture for that if we want. I'll choose like a texture like this, that might look horrible. And in sector mode, I can choose a different ceiling texture for it as well and floor texture. So there we go, we have that. Let's go ahead and change, pick a better uh, wall texture, boom, something like that, which I think is what it originally was on or something similar to that. Now it looks like a teleporter. It isn't a teleporter yet. We'll talk about that in future videos. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to hit five to lower my grid down a little bit, T for things, and I'm going to put, I'll put a weapon there. I'll put chain gun there. And now that's there. So perfect. We have this nice little shelf like thing within this sector. Well, let's say I want another one of those in this sector. I can go S for sector, back tick to make sure I have no other ones selected. I can select that texture, that, that sector, control C, and then I can come over here and hit control V, and I just placed another one right over here. And it even moved everything that was inside that sector, so there's another chain gun there as well. And of course, that's one of the great things about computers is repetitive tasks. You create something, you can copy and paste it as many times as you want. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though, is the alignment. Uh, so I pasted that right inside this. If I come over here and I click, uh, where's, right here, uh, you notice that my floor texture does not align properly. And as far as I know, the only way to fix that is to move that sector so it aligns. I don't think you can adjust uh, ceiling and floor textures like you can uh, wall textures. So that's a sector within the sector. Let's go ahead and just give ourselves more room. I'm going to hit V here and I'm going to hit space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. Give ourselves a little hallway down here and give ourselves another, oops, I didn't, uh, big room over here and move that there. So now in my view here, we just created this hallway here and a whole nother room. Let's say I wanted to put some pillars in this room. Again, I'll V to go into vertices mode and I will create a sector there. Now I can go into sector mode and I can, you know, bring the ceiling all the way down. Now I have a little pillar there or the other way around. I can make the floor go all the way up. The problem with this is it, it, it looks on a map like that might be a door and people will try to click on it. I find the best thing to do is once you create that sector and you have that sector selected, just delete it. And then you can change the wall texture line mode and we can change the wall texture to be something like this. And now we have our own little sector here uh, that we deleted. So it's actually not a sector anymore, but we create a little pillar. So since it's not a sector anymore, I can't copy and paste that. But what I can do is I can go like this. I can create a sector here. I can choose that, I can copy it, paste it, paste it. And by the way, I'm copying with control C, control V, but of course you can go up to edit, copy and paste, just like any other program. Now I can choose those three sectors, hit delete, L for line mode, and I can choose all of those and choose the texture I want. And now I have some nice pillars there. Uh, so yeah, you can do sectors inside sectors. 
uh, you know, I can come in here, I can do something like this. I can go uh, boom, 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 whoops, we'll adjust that in a second, back to unselect, and now I can choose those and I can do different uh, ceiling and floor textures for them. I can unselect that one, now I can do that for this, unselect that one, and do that, and now we have this nice little weird texture that looks funny, kind of like a, a rug, like, like we put a rug in this wall here, in this uh, sector here. Anyway, that's creating sectors within sectors, and again, uh, anything that's inside that sector uh, will have, you can copy and paste as well. So again, if I was to control V, I can make another little hallway right here. Uh, with a, actually, uh, what I can do is I can just make this room bigger. So again, uh, if I come back over here, you can see there's actually two sectors here. You can't really tell the difference too much. Um, we'll do that. Lower the floor a little bit there so you have a little step down like you're stepping in a new room. Let's go ahead and V and I will create this. Whoops, I meant to connect that. I can move that up and down so we have a little, little sector there. Let's go ahead and change the ceiling and floor textures. And I'm going to lower my grid down. I'll do four here things. And I can add in a bunch of these little health files. And again, we can copy and paste. So I can back tick and select all these. Control C, come right here, Control V. And now we have two rows of those. And I can add in another one here, another one here, another one here, another one here. And in the middle, maybe I can add in a health pack. And now I have that. And I, let's say I want to do the same thing over here. I don't have to recreate all that. I hit um, S to go into sector mode. Back tick to make sure I have no other select. I'll select that sector. Control C. I'll place it right in the center here. Control V. And now I have two of those right there. I'll save that and we'll test it out. Again, I can come up here, grab this chain gun. That switch doesn't do anything. I can grab this chain gun, this chain gun. Here's my room with the pillars and stuff. And here are those. Another thing I can do if I wanted to, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it here. Then I'll talk about the problems with it later. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll hit, I can come out here, S for sector mode. So now, let's say I wanted to build a whole new sector out here. Let me adjust my grid here. There, I have two options. I can go into vertices mode and I can create the walls like so. And I have a new sector. Let's undo that. Or if I hit S for sector mode, I can just hit spacebar and it's going to add a little square sector for me that I can then modify. I actually prefer using the vertices mode because I'm going to have to move the vertices for that little sector anyway. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to create a sector over here and I'm actually going to create little corner rooms on it. Get it all how I want it. Let's go ahead and move my cursor here and hit apostrophe. This is the room I'm creating so far. Uh, let's go ahead and choose these corner sectors and just move the floor and ceiling down a little bit so it's like a little drop down. Maybe I'll add in another little room or a shelf over here. So sector mode, move that up, move that down. And let's say I just get this room all how I want it. I'm going to add in a, let's see, decor or actually lighting. Let's go light source. I'll put a lamp here, lamp here, lamp here lamp here and then let's just say I want to put a baddie in the middle I'll add that guy right there so I have this all how I want it now I can't get to that room yet because it's not connected but let's just go sector mode back to unselect all and then I'll select this one and I will copy it and I will paste it right here and I'll paste another copy of it right here and I actually line those up pretty good uh, but what I will do is I will now say vertices and I can create a hallway that connects that and I can come like this 
and I'm going to create a hallway. Again, I have my um, grid set to 64, which is the smallest you want to do. That's going to be a pretty tight hallway, but enough for you to fit down. And then I can come in here and I can go things and I can go, okay, I want to change that guy to one of these and this guy to be uh, one of these. And let me come over here and just for fun, uh, add in a BFG. And now I quickly created, after creating one room, three more rooms to match. And obviously you can go a lot more detail. But if you create a very detailed room, you can make multiple copies of it. Let's go ahead and save that and test it. You know, I'll get my chain gun here. And I'll get my BFG here. I have my and come down this hallway. Oh, there's he's there. Come down this hallway. And I got this guy here. And I'll just take him out. Oop, almost. there we go. This hallway's too small for him to fit down. He can shoot down it. Anyway something to think about. You can create rooms like that, identical rooms, and then you can go and make little tweaks to make them each individual rooms instead of creating everything from scratch. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. We have a pretty good level going so far. You know, very basic, but getting the concepts for each thing. I do thank you for watching. Please, visit Films by Chris. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.